Hi, boomers. Let's do this. Okay, boomers, if you have questions with quality, post it on our subreddit, no matter your entity. I may or may not check it in the next episode of LADDT. Okay, let's see what you guys have to offer. This guy busted a lot of misconceptions about microwave radiation, but still don't attempt any of this as it should be obvious. Okay, it's just turned on. Uh, once again, I feel absolutely nothing. This is sitting right in front of a magnetron of a microwave oven. My brain's not frying. Oh, whoopee. <laughs> I've got this light bulb and I'm gonna make it light up in my mouth. I wasn't joking. So the Mr. Green guy is basically exposing himself to microwave oven radiations throughout the video and survives. It is good to find fellow crazy people on YouTube. <laughs> Should I try that? I mean, as I mentioned in my old video, the sunlight radiation is so strong it can easily warm you up in a second. The microwave oven on the other hand has over 300,000 times lower frequency so its single photon has that much less energy. So it's not ionizing or cancerous at all, but too many photons can still burn you. Eh, it should be safe. I mean military made an active denial system that would radiate crowds of people, burning them remotely so they would disperse. Although. I don't know if I can put military and safety in the same sentence. So as long as it doesn't burn me, I guess I can try it. But you don't try it at all. The setup itself is so dangerous and can easily electrocute you in a jiffy if you make a mistake. I'm worried about running it in my room though. What if the energy coming out of it goes into my electronics and they arc and burn? So I am in our bedroom with the guts of the microwave oven transformer assembled together there. And let's power it on. Okay. Nothing blew up. It's glowing. Wow, the emissions really affected the audio quality there. Now I have a CFL bulb. Let's turn this on and see if I can make it glow. Oh, look at that. Wow, the radiations really make this glow. <laughs> radiations confirmed. Here's a CD. Let's give this a try. Affecting the CD, is it? Something is happening. I see some stuff. Smoke is coming up. Damn it. Some minor arcing. Okay. Something definitely happened to the CD. It's not as bad as if I put the CD in an actual microwave oven. Let's put some aluminum foil on top of it. What? What happened? So can I put my hand in front of it? Let's power it up and try. Crawl forward under the radar. Will I feel any heat? Ew. Turn on. Oh, I feel the heat. Yeah. Okay, I turned it off. Was the heat coming from this thing getting hot? Just hot air rising or the radiations? Ah, the body of the magnetron is much hotter than the radiations coming out of it. Let's try it again. Oi. Yes, I got burned. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I felt some minor radiation burn inside my soul. <laughs> well, mind you, the magnetron is not installed in a proper waveguide inside a microwave oven, which would make it radiate much more efficiently. And also, the cavity inside the microwave oven reflects the waves back and forth, so they get to accumulate and heat the food much better. And that's why, outside the oven here, it doesn't seem to be powerful enough. Don't try this! But hey, it's definitely radiating. <laughs> yeah. I still feel cooked to some extent. Don't radiate yourselves. We have to take chances. The chances I take? <laughs> it's not really taking chances. There is either zero or 100% chance of death. You either have GFCI or not. Never take chances like that. Just like Mehdi. He's not like me. He's much safer. He's wearing a helmet. 
What, what, why are you running? Always turn off power before putting wires in your mouth. Is this real? The guy has a DC motor, takes some headset wires, connects it to the motor, plugs in the audio jack, and... <laughs> oh, that was fake. Well, the concept is real. Anything that can move with electricity, you can pretty much turn it into a speaker. But that... See, it vibrates without music. He puts his finger on. And after one second, you can start hearing the sound. You should be able to hear it as soon as you put your finger on it. Watch again. Why is there a delay? So it seems like he failed to make a sound and then put a music on the video. Latity intro on DC motor? See, this guy did it. Quite dim though. Let me see if I can do it myself. Of course, a speaker is a coil beside a magnet and the motor is basically the same thing. If I hook it up to some audio source, I can hear it very faintly. See if you can hear it. I put it on my microphone. Here's a relay. It also has coil and magnet. Let's see if I can hear it. Oi! <laughs> I hear my relay! Super faint though. Let me cut the top of it off. Here's inside of it. It's a terrible speaker. Everything beside the real speaker is so faint. That's why that video was fake. At least I'm here to rectify this stuff. But I can't correct every piece of misinformation out there. This is why I would like you to check my sponsor Ground News, which has really helped me save time in making sense of the news. Ground News is a news aggregator with an app and website that provides you with lots of extra context you won't find in the standard media. Like this story on a debate about AI research by the recent Nobel Prize winners. The story was covered by over 314 outlets. I should read them all to get a comprehensive viewpoint. Every story on ground comes with quick visual breakdowns and tags for political bias, factuality, and ownership of the sources backed by ratings from independent news monitoring organizations. They also have a feature called blind spot that shows you stories mainly covered by one side of the political spectrum that you will totally miss if you are only following the other side. And you know different outlets can change how you in interpret the facts when they try to push a narrative. They have a lot of power over us that way. Ground News hands some of that power back to you. So if you would like a more transparent media landscape, go to ground.news slash boom or scan my QR code and get 50% off their best plan which unlocks all these features. Try it and be in the know. Every video man may be designing an interesting circuit. Misconnected capacitor. <laughs> yeah, those capacitors got me even in the first day of my real job like 30 years ago. What electrical circuit is being used to detect static in the new Plasma channel video? Hey Plasma. Hey Boom, what's up? Uh, hey, can you send me over that circuit you are using to detect static electricity? Yeah, it's an easy one. I'll shoot the right over. Okay, see you later. Here is his schematic. You should watch his video. The guy made a puck with permanent static electricity inside of it like a magnet and a cool detector to see it. Laser versus lightning. Did you guys watch Mark Robert's video I'm in? Go watch it if you haven't. So much destruction and some good amount of hurting. Not just the capacitor. Hmm. Shopping a capacitor into the outlet, 220 volts. Oh. Creates an arc to turn on his oven. I mean, that's obviously dangerous, shoving wires straight into 220 volts and having the loose wires of the capacitor in your hands that can be charged as high as 330 volts. Well, he's connecting to AC, so it could be charged anywhere between zero to 330. Still dangerous, just do it like other people do, charging themselves up with static and discharging to the oven. Or do it like I do, instead of dangerous high voltages, I use low voltage on a super large capacitor. This thing right now is charged to 18 volts, but can still deliver. It is quite promising. We just charge it again with my power supply. I'm gonna use my barbecue. We just turn it on and I suppose we can short the capacitor somewhere on the burner here. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, my hair burned. Just use a lighter for God's sake. Saw this on TikTok and I just feel like I have to share just because of how ridiculous it is. Why doesn't it play? Damn it. It's a picture. Who takes a screenshot of a TikTok? So the guy is like shorting his batteries to see if they're functional. So that's how you should test car battery. Yes, the way to show it's good quality. <laughs> I love it how the creators of these bullshit videos double down on their claims. It's good quality. Throw it into garbage because you broke it shorting it like that. In Malta, we use the UK plug, but some appliances use the Euro plug. Here is how some people get by without an adapter. Ha, ah, the Euro stuff fits in the UK stuff? Maybe the design is on purpose because I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean UK and Europe, it seems like Europe can fit into UK. And it should be pretty safe. They are both 220, 240 volts. I don't see anything wrong with it. Let me know if it is wrong. Remember, warning. Remember kids, electricity will kill you. <laughs> because as we all know, it grabs you by the shoulders, then takes its switch knife out and boom, unlike poison that will run you over. Are the battery terminals made of lead? Who would have guessed they used lead in a lead acid battery? What, next you're gonna tell me they actually use acid in those? New free energy device? Nuclear fissile material get really hot. Put nuclear fissile material in water? Use steam to turn a generator? Free electricity? Isn't that how nuclear power actually works? That's not free energy anyway, it converts nuclear energy into electricity. How to get free energy at home? Neighbor's house, neighbor's outlet, plug long extension cord, turn off your power, plug death cable into outlet and extension cord, free energy. Yay! Is this joke ever gonna die? Yes, I get it. You can get free energy from your neighbor. The Breaker Destroyer 8000. Wow, what is this? Is this something they actually sell? Well, this is still a ton of outlets to be plugged into one. Well, technically it has a breaker, so you can't overload it. And this one is probably photoshopped, so I don't think anyone makes it like that. But I can never tell, there are so many stupid products out there. Average suicide shower experience. What do you shoot it up? Uh-uh. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? For like 5000 watts that these devices need, they're using such thin wires. And naturally, that happens. <laughs> you know, I showed it in my previous video, these suicide showers could be used safely if you wire them right on the right breaker and everything, but still, I don't feel comfortable around them. I've heard Brazil is the place to try them. I should really go there. 500 kilovolt to 750 kilovolt? Notice, bikers may experience a sensation from static electricity as you pass under the power line. Static electricity? Perhaps the high voltage DC power lines? <laughs> I'd like to be on that bridge and do some experiments. I wonder if I can find its location. There it is guys, that's the bridge. Can one of you go there at night, stand right under the cables and hold on to the bridge railing and with the other hand point all the way to the cables? I'm pretty sure it's designed with proper clearances so no lightning will jump at your finger. I just want to know if at night you can see any corona discharge coming out of your finger. Should it work? I laughed way too hard at this one. I'm going to hell now for sure. <laughs> How to jumpstart a millennial? <laughs> well, this won't shock them, it will just short the battery. It would shock them if it was like two different piercings. <laughs> if you found a person like that, try this. <laughs> no, no, looks legit, right? A young college student in Gaza creates a power source to charge many devices. 26%. Wow, he's creating his own power bar. <laughs> now that's a power bar. Remember kids, <laughs> electricity will kill you. Kids casually playing with a train high voltage pantograph. What are they doing up there? Oh no, no, no! I just gotta... Oh my... God! These kids are idiots! These are the type of kids that their parents should go to jail. We will stop them forkfully. I found a new way of making electricity. Free energy, people. Mehdi. <laughs> <laughs> This was a nice stash of submissions. Keep submitting your stuff in the subreddit. I like to try new things. See you in the next one.